Hey, my fellow coders. I'm uh, just here in my sort of basement studio, if you will. I've got my uh, my little lighting set up. I've got some new uh, some new posters on the wall because I'm a Star Wars fan. Uh, but today I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be running a uh, a workshop where I'm gonna be teaching you how to build and uh, deploy a Java web app in essentially under five minutes. Okay, so it's going to be doing that because we are able to leverage four different technologies, so one, two, three, four that you see behind me, um, where you're going to be able to, like I said, leverage these technologies uh, all you know, within Java uh, technologies, and you'll be able to launch your own web application, fully functional web application integrated with a database in about five minutes. So the workshop's gonna obviously be longer than five minutes, but once you've uh, read, or not read, but watched this video and understood the whole, you know, the concepts within, that I teach within the workshop, you'll be ready to rock. So, what is the first of the five technologies? I'm trying to hold the camera out as far away as my face, from my face as I can. So the first one is called uh, Spring, and it's Spring, the guys at Spring are awesome, I love the guys. Uh, spring Boot. Okay, that's the first technology. You might have heard me talk about Spring Boot in the past before, um, but hey, that's fine. We're gonna be talking about uh, Spring Boot in depth uh, in this workshop. So that's the first technology that allows us to get up and running very, very quickly um, by essentially being able to uh, get past all the configuration stuff that you used to have to do. Okay, the configuration stuff was really annoying. Um, you know, XML deploying uh, and all the different, you know, it's just, it, it was a big, huge pain in the butt. It used to take me hours, if not days, to get up and running to make a simple Hello World application. Now, less than five minutes. Unbelievable, huge thanks to Spring Boot. Uh, second is, like I said, we're integrating with a database in five minutes. So, another technology, Spring. Once again, data. Okay, Oop, that's kind of a bad data, but uh, Spring Data is another technology from the guys at Spring, and it is fantastic. It allows you to do the CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete, to databases, and, uh, and it's fantastic. It uses naming conventions uh, to essentially allow you to create methods in an interface to be able to uh, interact with the database without having to write any SQL. Okay, if you don't want to write SQL, you can more or less get away with it uh, by using Spring Data. But if, obviously, if you want to write custom SQL, you can. Spring Data allows you to do that. We'll get into that in the workshop. Um, if you want to sign up for it, I believe it should be below this video. If it's not below this video, uh, it should be a link somewhere. You should be able to click on to sign up for this free workshop. I should mention it's free. Uh, the third technology, you've most likely heard of this before. Um, but uh, hey, we're gonna be diving into it and talking about how important it is inside of this workshop is JPA, Java Persistence Annotations. Now, JPA is a technology that is not new, uh, but it is a specification. So you can almost think of it like a uh, like an, an interface, if you will. It's an interface, there's no real body, there's no meat to it that you can really uh, use in your coding, but Hibernate is what implements the JPA specification. So with Hibernate, you can actually go and um, and do all this stuff with, like I said, with uh, interacting with the database uh, in tandem with Spring Data. Okay, so still database stuff. Now, number four. This one you might not have heard of before, and if you haven't, you're in for a treat, in my opinion. Time leaf. Time leaf spelled with the uh, like an herb, time or herb if you're French. Uh, time leaf. I shouldn't say French if you're uh, full on English, right? French is herb, H, anyway, it doesn't matter. Not, not a language lesson. Uh, so for all you English, it's, uh, anyway, Time Leaf, it is a wonderful technology for uh, essentially making JSPs extinct. Okay, I'm writing an article right now on how JSPs are going the way of the dinosaur and Time Leaf is the culprit. Uh, Time Leaf essentially allows us to work inside of plain old HTML files in order to uh, you know, create our presentation layer. So it gets rid of the need of using JSPs in tandem with something like your C tag library, your form tag library, your format tag library, all the different tag libraries that you need to piece together in order to create JSPs. Time Leaf makes that irrelevant. Okay, Time Leaf is amazing, and it also is a big friend for designers. Designers that want to be able to work in plain old HTML, CSS, JavaScript files, and that's it. Um, that Time Leaf is a huge lifesaver for those people as well, but obviously for us as coders, um, hey, if you're a designer, that's fine, you're gonna love it. If you're a plain old coder as well, you're still gonna love it because you have to write less code uh, than you would have to otherwise with JSPs and C tag libraries, and like I said, form tag libraries, and it's all in one location. 
Time Leaf is so cool. I love it. It's clean. It's separation of concerns. It is the future of building web applications with the Java language. So we're going to be diving into those four technologies and a little bit more as well. I'll leave that as a bit of a surprise for when you sign up for this workshop. So like I said, sign up below. I think if this is a mobile video, you should be able to see below the sign up page. If not, there should be a link somewhere for you to click on to be able to sign up for, like I said, this free workshop. We're going to be going through these technologies and teaching you how to you know, create code, launch, deploy, whatever, a web application that's fully integrated with a database in under five minutes. It's a great workshop. It's free. Can't wait to see you there. Take care of yourself. Happy learning and bye for now.